We continue with political team coverage tonight. One East Texas group is making sure that anyone who wants to vote has a way to get to the booth. KTK's Frank Jefferson right now tells us how their mission is a small sacrifice. Charles Jackson has lived in Tyler for more than 30 years. He usually gets around town by getting rides from one of his children. But this Tuesday is different. Jackson is headed to the Heritage Building. He's riding with Laura Owens, a member of the women of Tyler NAACP, so he can go vote and make his voice heard. The only way we're going to get justice and peace, bye bye, but go ahead and vote. Once Jackson and Owens arrived, there were a lot of people already there. I appreciate the ride, but it was a long line. Jackson says the wait was long, but he understands there was a purpose behind it. We had a lot of people that vote. This is the first year the women of Tyler NAACP gave free rides to voters. Owen says she knows the importance of giving people a lift to the polls. To make voting more accessible, especially for people who might not have reliable transportation. Local churches have donated three shuttle buses to help the organization. Voting lines like the one behind me are longer than usual because there are less polling stations inside to keep people social distance. And Owen says this isn't affecting the shuttle at all. We anticipated the fact that people are going to be very energetic about voting and uh, we are prepared to get people to the polls. Even a man of few words. Just vote <laughs> and please do it. His voice deserves to be heard this election season. Frank Jefferson, KETK News.